iron balusters are perfect for both contemporary and traditional stairway designs. Our balusters are made from solid wrought iron and can be finished in a variety of powder coat finish options. We also offer hollow iron balusters. These have the same appearance of solid balusters, but are considerably more installation friendly as they are lightweight and save time during the cutting phase of your project. In this video, we are installing hollow single knuckle and double knuckle iron balusters from our versatile series line. Iron balusters can be installed into treads, on balconies, or even on angled knee walls. While the installation process is the same for each of these systems, the only difference is what shoes you will use at the bottom of your baluster. Additionally, each of these balusters are 44 inches in height and will need to be trimmed to the proper height. Be sure to check in with your local building code for proper height regulations in your locality. Step 1. Remove existing railing. Beginning with the existing structures, remove the current infill. In this video, we are removing wood spindles with a jigsaw. You can use a reciprocating saw as well. Cut the infill in the middle to remove it. Make sure to remove all dowel screws and finishing nails from the surface into which the spindles are installed. Continue to do this for every spindle in the system until they are removed. Step 2. Remove existing handrail. Now that you have removed all of the old spindles, it is time to remove the handrail. Most often, wooden handrails will be anchored into rosettes that are flush with the wall. You can remove the wood plug on the rosette and have access to the screws that are holding it on the inside. Additionally, adhesive may have been used on the back to reinforce the rosette's grip. You can use a hammer to force the handrail out of the fitting. Finally, if need be, you can cut the handrail and remove it with a reciprocating saw. Step 3. Install new handrail. Once you have removed the old handrail, it is time to install the new handrail. Depending on your overall system, you may be terminating your handrail into post structures or wall structures. We will cover the difference between these two in another video. In either system, you will need to ensure that you have holes at the appropriate sizes and depths for your new balusters to fit inside. Step 4. Lay out your balusters. Now that your handrail is mounted, lay out your balusters. This will give you an overall picture of the system as well as verify that all the products are accounted for. In this installation, we are alternating between single knuckle and double knuckle iron balusters. Step 5. Measure your mounting holes. Once you have verified that all products are accounted for, it is time to measure and mark your holes for mounting your balusters. Beginning with the bottom trim, measure the total distance and find the center. From that point, divide out the total distance by four, as this follows the four inch sphere rule. For the safety of infants and small children, railing cannot exceed a gap greater than four inches. So round up to the nearest hole number and populate that many holes evenly spaced on the trim. Repeat this step for the upper handrail. Step six, pre-drill your mounting holes. Now that you have marked all your holes, grab a power drill and a spade bit or Forstner bit. Depending on the diameter of your baluster, you will use different spade bits. For half inch balusters, use a 5 8 inch wood bit. For 9 16 inch balusters, use a three quarter inch wood bit. Beginning with the bottom trim, drill a hole a half of an inch down. Repeat this step for every hole on the trim. Once completed, rotate up to the handrail and drill up one and a half inches deep into the handrail. It may be beneficial to mark that distance on your bit to maintain consistency while drilling. Remove any debris with a shop vac. Step seven. Cut your balusters. Our balusters are 44 inches long and have a three quarter inch long round section at the top. They are designed longer so they can be cut to length from the bottom. Beginning at the handrail, measure the distance from the bottom of the handrail to the top of the trim. Then add one and a quarter inch to this measurement to get the total length for your baluster. This extra inch and a quarter allows the baluster to slide into the trim and the handrail. Ensure that the measurement is correct and that you are cutting at the bottom. After cutting your baluster, 
Use an angle grinder to remove any burring or stray metal shavings as they could scratch your trim on installation. Step 8. Prepare your balusters for installation. Now that you have cut your baluster, take a piece of painter's tape and wrap it around the top of the baluster, making sure to not cover the round portion at the top. If you are using shoes for the bottom of the baluster, put them on the balusters before you put them in place. Take another piece of painter's tape and tape the bottom shoe up about a foot or so so that it doesn't slide down and get in your way. Step 9. Install your balusters. Grab the provided epoxy and epoxy gun. Fill the desired hole slightly more than 25%, beginning first with the bottom trim and then inside your handrail. It is helpful to add a small dab of epoxy on top of the baluster as well. Then slide the baluster into the handrail and drop it into the bottom hole. Make sure that it is straight and that the shoes are facing the proper direction. The inside of the shoe is generally the side that has the set screw pre-installed on it. Additionally, you can apply a little more epoxy into both the top hole and the bottom hole if needed. The tape provides a barrier so that any epoxy that comes out of the hole will stick to the tape instead of the baluster. Repeat this step for each of your balusters in this run. Allow the balusters to sit for up to 24 hours before removing the tape. Step 10. Fasten your shoes. Once you have allowed the epoxy to cure for 24 hours, remove the tape from the bottom shoes and lower them into position. Using a 3 seconds inch Allen wrench, tighten the set screw that comes pre-installed in the aluminum shoe until it is flush. Repeat this step for each of the shoes on your balusters. Thanks for watching this video on how to install your Iron Baluster Versatile Series on a level run. To learn how to install the rest of the Versatile Series, check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash stairsupplies or go to stairsupplies.com.